Welcome to Otixo 303. The last video introduced the My Spaces section of your account. This video will explain some other features and functions of Otixo. As you know, you can link multiple cloud storage services to your Otixo account. In this case, a Google Docs account and a Dropbox account titled Financial Data have been linked. On the right, next to each of your cloud storage providers, you can see the word online. This just means that you are currently logged into that particular account. One useful way to organize files in a linked account is to add folders. To do this, click on an account name. On the toolbar at the top, click the New Folder icon or just right-click on the screen and select New Folder. After renaming the folder, you can click and drag any file into the folder. To move the file back, open the folder and drag the file into the account on the left. Back under My Spaces, we've created three different spaces. As mentioned previously, each space is broken down into three subcategories. One subcategory we haven't gone over is Activity. Activity is just a virtual log that displays recent events in that particular space. For instance, if we click on Activity for the space Website Creation, we can see that the item Site Design was added to the space and a comment was added to the file. One thing we haven't gone over yet is the option in the left panel called My Shared Files. This is where you can share files with people without them having to create an Otixo account. To share a file this way, first choose a file in your cloud services. When you select the file, you can either click the Share icon on the toolbar or right-click and select Sharing Options. Both options will take you to a window where you can input people's emails. When you send the email, the person receiving it will be given a link that they can click to download the particular file. You can decide how long you want the link to be activated by choosing an expiration date for it. The Password Protect option means that the people you send the link to will have to type in a specific password in order to download the linked file. All of the files you link to emails will be listed under My Shared Files. To stop sharing any shared file, just go back to the sharing window and click Stop Sharing. Aside from linking your cloud storage services into one place, Otixo also lets you upload files from your computer. Just choose a cloud service and select the Upload option on the toolbar. A window will pop up where you can upload a file. Remember, Otixo is a platform that links cloud services. It does not store actual files. Therefore, when you upload a file from your computer, you're actually uploading it to the cloud storage service you choose. Under the free version of Otixo, each account owner is given 2 GB of bandwidth usage per month. Bandwidth is a measure of data transfer. Additionally, for each user that collaborates in your Spaces section, you're both given an additional 100 MB of bandwidth usage. Otixo also offers a business plan for $10 per month which buys you unlimited bandwidth usage. This is useful if you need to collaborate on a wide number of projects. For more help and information regarding Otixo, you can click the links at the bottom of the page. Otixo offers a list of frequently answered questions including how to manage and edit files stored through your Pages application on your iPad. Otixo is based in Boulder, Colorado and has been mentioned in Lifehacker, Killer Startups, and The Webbies.